Hustling. Yeah, exactly. What's but they're wrong not making with hustling, man? There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying that like. So why are you one, so mad about not, it? I'm not mad about it. You're like crypto's only fans. Like, what are you talking about? Because one, not everybody can make it in crypto. Everybody can. How? How? By definition, everybody can. Most won't. But everybody can. That's a simple thing that you and Abba don't understand. Like everybody can get rich if you have a phone. That's true. Everybody has you're, the opportunity to get rich. You're making like a, it's like a grammar trick. Is that not true? It's not a grammar trick. I know like you don't want to offend say, people who are never going to get rich, when but you that say, is a true statement. When you say everybody can, yep. everybody can't at the same time. But right? everybody Indeed. can. Any individual could. Yes. But if I'm preaching, if I've got 10,000 people listening and I'm trying to give them a message, I want to give them a message. Settle. That, no. I want to give them a message <laughs> that I've got 10,000 listeners. Like... 10,000 of them can walk away and do it and apply it to their life and succeed. They could. The 10,000 here I'm could be better about, than the $10,000. If I'm option. talking about crypto and I'm talking to 10,000 people and I give the best advice in the world, yeah. of those 10,000, maybe 50 will walk away and make money. Yeah, because most people are dumb. But, but then what? Not so everybody the has to be dumb. Most people choose to write an essay psychoanalyzing. <laughs> and instead of it, like doing the right research and putting themselves in the right position, most people cry instead of That's actually applying themselves. That's not doing yourself. If you want to do the research, put yourself in a good position, then work on yourself. Gain skills. Get education. Yeah, like learn true. Trade. Most of these people are. Trading, but getting your phone and, and sitting like here all day like trying to become a millionaire is not like the way to do it that you're not developing like any skills and, and most of the people that try that are going to fail miserably at it and they're going to be even more poor and more fucked and they've wasted time yeah. the most important thing you have in your youth Bots, i dummies. actually agree with you yeah, not like, everybody will be a dummy most some people listen. most people can't make it in that world so sorry sorry winners and losers do you want the majority of your audience to be losers? Because that's what you're saying. No, I want most of my audience. I want people to watch me to want, have ambition. And the first step to start getting rich is mindset. That's why I know I'm going to be multi. But right, technically, right now I'm in debt. By the end of the year, I'm going to be a millionaire. Why? Because I'm applying myself. I have the right mindset. I know it's going to happen. But you, and you're all going to see it. You you have the foundation of work behind you, right? Yeah, everyone can make excuses, for, but like you know, everybody has the foundation of work behind them. The okay. whole everything they've done in life is the foundation Fuck. behind them. I'm using all my good lines for Friday. You keep. Wealthy people do this, and it's really funny to watch them do this, okay? Yeah. I've been on both sides of the wealthy. line. I am wealthy. No, no. I'm in student debt. You're wealthy because you got high income. I am in student debt. Income is more important than net worth. Okay. Okay? Sure. High income is more valuable than I just had my first six-figure month. This was like my first good month. I've had like 10K, 15K months for like- Sure. If you've had a six-figure month- you're in a really good spot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because income really, is more important. Because I applied myself our first debate. That's I didn't fine. even have that. But our I'm first just saying, debate, well, I was just a broken. I'm just saying, if you have a six figure month, that's better than having a million dollar net worth. Okay. No. If you could trade your income right now for a million dollars, if you're smart, you'd leave the million easily because you can keep growing your income and you're going to make money year after year after year. Because I'm applying myself. Exactly. Sure. But if I didn't want to apply myself, I didn't want to work. I don't want to, this is, uh, I'm not going to do it. This is, sure. uh, this is only fans for men. Then I won't. But I'm not sure. thinking like that. I'm thinking, I want to go get it. So I am going to. Sure. You can. And everybody's going to see it. And that's going to inspire a lot of people. Here. You know how many people are going to watch me go through this? Like I'm every day I'm saying like, I'm going to be a future millionaire. Everyone's going to see me do it. What are they going to do? Cry? Bro, they're posting. My subreddit is a whole bunch of haters, bro. Like he's obsessed with becoming a multi-million. Why is that a bad thing? Can Why are we talking? It's it's not a bad thing, and uh, yeah, it's 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 not a bad thing uh, to 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 want to want to be great, to pursue greatness, to pursue excellence. That's a wonderful thing. Go get it. Right reasons, but thing. something you guys. Oh yeah, but what uh, what Destiny said? Uh, let me let me address it. Where he said, uh, giving the men advice to go use your phone to like sell crypto or whatever to to become a millionaire and that it won't work or whatever, and that it's bad advice. Um, I'm inclined to agree. Uh, I don't think that that's the best strategy for everyone, but that's not the point. That's not why Sneeko is doing it. I mean, and even what Sneeko said, like there's winners and losers and like, uh, you know, screw, screw them if they lose. Um, that's not what they're going to be inspired by. What they're going to be inspired by is a guy going from zero to hero. They're going to be inspired by the hero's journey. They're going to be inspired by, I'm not giving up. I'm going to succeed and screw all of you. That's what they'll be inspired by. So there you go. Guys talk about it. people say this all the time. Poor people blame themselves. Yeah. Okay? Poor people are blaming things. Poor people, you know, they're not they're not doing the right things in terms of like accounting for their life. Wealthy people don't do it either. Wealthy like wealthy people look at poor people and say like, oh wow, like you're blaming you know your environment and everything around you. Wealthy people 
will try to take credit for everything they've done when their environment is like helping them just as much, you know? Not to say that like you've had the best life or I don't know your background 100%, but I do know that at 14 years, you had the ability to be super online and be posting YouTube videos. So just by virtue of that, you were already ahead of like yeah, 95% of Yeah, I was putting in work since I was 14. Yeah, but you were, in an, you were in a position to put in work. Who put myself in that position? Your family did. Me? No. My family was against my shit the whole time. You, I bought everything. My you, laptop, my Elgato thing. My family did not. My Bro, my mom wanted me to somebody, leave videos shooting guns. Somebody. Do you is, think my parents talked to me after I dropped out of school to be a YouTuber? At, they didn't even talk to me. At 14 years old, you're barely old enough to make any decisions. I didn't even life. tell them about YouTube for a year. The only person who knew about my YouTube channel was my brother. That shit was me. So who was supporting you? Me. Okay. A supporting, oh, like, like giving me food and shit? No, like, some, like if, you, if, you're doing something, do if you're doing something at that early of an age, me. you've got some support somewhere. Me. Okay, you were working on your own, you were paying for your shit, you, like... Everything. You, okay, all right. I well, went home from school. You're just, you're actually Zeus, you're God. You did it, you figured it out. What do you, so what do you think, do you think I had, so, like, bro, my, my parents did not fuck with the shit I was talking about? I, I was talking about feminism when I was, like, a 14, 15 year old, how the shit was it's a not scam. About, it's not about feminism, it's about people don't take account of, like, all the advantages that they have growing up sometimes. And they're quick to compare like other people to- Okay, yeah, I, I, lived, I had a, a good house. I had parents who were together. Sure. And I was, I grew up in the Northeast. Like, that's good. Yeah, those are the advantages. But like, I didn't have any mental support. I had an- That's what, what he's saying is that he grew up middle class or upper middle class. Yeah, and uh, these, these are the people that are the best positioned in, in our modern society to go from upper middle class to, you know, low high class or, high, you know, but, but even if he's making $10 million or whatever, even, even if Sneeko becomes a multimillionaire, um, that's not that much money, actually. Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios, here for another reaction video. If you're new to the channel, liking the content, Hit the sub, hit all the notifications if you'd like to support me. Uh, I do have a Patreon with exclusive content. It's patreon.com slash the blog. Just uh, join that, like uh, go over there and subscribe to any tier. Any level of support is appreciated. All right. Um, yeah, it, it's, not, it's not that much money in the grand scheme of things. He's just going from upper middle class to low high class. You see, it, it's not really a lot of social mobility. And I think that's what Destiny's trying to get at. Internet connection, like we all do. Sure. And I apply myself. That's good. Most people have at a that really early age. I don't know if most people, if you're talking to somebody that's 20 years old, they're already six years behind, right? Where you start. So catch up now. You can cry you about it. Catch, catch up, up is hard. It depends. It's, it's hard. Kind of like how many... It's hard. Yeah. Life is hard. You're setting people up for failure. No. That's what you're doing. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're setting up for people for failure. It's like, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. What are you going to do about it? The, the, Literally. The goal is to set, you should work. You shouldn't be complacent. Yes. You Agreed. should push for more. Yes. But the number one way to fail, if you're giving anybody a new routine, it could be exercise, it could be diet, it could be whatever. The number one way to fail is to give them an unrealistic goal. Like you're 20, by 21, I want you making six figures. Okay, well, I work at Dunkin' Donuts right now making 23,000 a year. Well, that's, that's how, great. All the people who end up making that money had unrealistic expectations. When I was 14, yeah, but what you don't I see is that. I'm going to be the best YouTuber yeah, ever. Yeah, but what you don't see is for every, how many 14-year-olds? Yeah, yeah. Um, here's the thing. Like, if he's if he's what twenty three now or something, that's already nine years working. So he's successful after ten years of practice, right? So, um, you know, there you go. Uh, so this is some some shit, right? Some some bullshit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, nobody can succeed after a year, going from zero to a hundred k, from from zero to six figures. Um, but they can go from zero to, you know, a hundred dollars a month, maybe that's possible. Um, and in a year, and then from there to a thousand, that's possible. Uh, it builds up slowly, right? It doesn't build up quickly. And I think that's what Sneaker is getting at here. Year olds have that same thought and don't make that's, it. I mean, well, that's because of the programming. The programming. It's not just the programming. The matrix, not everybody can make the it. The matrix tells you no, but I was always like, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Not everybody has a personality for YouTube. Not everybody True. has the personality. Yeah, but whatever personality you are, it doesn't have to be YouTube. Anything you go into, you could be like, fuck that shit. I know it's unrealistic. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I think that in society, some people are just workers. That's just what it is. Not every no, single no, person no, no, has no, the no. mind. Destiny, I, I actually disagree with this. Um, I, I, I don't actually agree with that. Um, okay. Um, uh, actually, I kind of do agree with that. Um, you, you kind of need to be above average intelligence and above average in uh, level of work ethic. So no, 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 he's, Destiny's actually right. Um, but you should not be giving advice to your viewers, assuming that they're idiots. Um, I, I, yeah, so 
I actually do agree. I think that not everyone can be successful. Uh, I just think that you should respect your audience enough to give them good advice in the event that they want to be successful. Um, telling them that, you know, you should just settle for being a worker, I, I actually think is going in the wrong direction. I think you should inspire the people you can and the people that, you know, th that don't have the capacity to understand what you're saying or, you know, what, what you're going for. I think those people should be, should organically fall out. So, um, yeah, there you go. Or can flip a switch to like be like a, a, a business owner. I, or... I think that they, they want to turn you into that so that the island people can keep us down and they go, ha ha ha. Well, they'll, well, we I don't work think they want to turn you into that. I think that if we look at all of human society and all of human history, you never have a society where every single person is an exceptional person. Of course. There's always going to be leaders. There's always going to be people that are just like, I fucking, you know, leaders I make followers? I clean. Yeah, that's just how it but works. But doesn't everybody want to be a leader? No. No. Really? Really. No, they they don't. They don't. There are there are some people that don't have the psychological capacity or the or the or, or the want, and those those would like most of those are women, right? Like uh, many women don't want to be leaders, um, but there are even men that don't want to be leaders. That that's true. Or, like, um, Sneeko here is actually wrong. Um, he he's um, it, it's like apex fallacy, right? Like he's he's uh, like an alpha male mentality, right? I'm going to succeed. I'm going to do what others won't. Screw all of you. Like um, uh, what he's describing when he says like, screw all that. I'm going to do what I want to do. That's that's um, low agreeableness, right? And uh, th that's usually seen in, in uh, dark triad men and successful men, right? So, but not all men are like that. It's true. Um, so, no, no. Uh, destiny is right here. I understand why that's hard for you to think. I didn't think that for a long time. I thought everybody wanted to be a leader. No. But like... If you Some I, like, just want to fall in line. This really, is genuinely. here's something. Here, Bro, the, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Here's something. Here, wait, you ever play video games? Yeah. Okay, I play a lot of video games. Started off on Call of Duty. Okay, I can't speak to Call of Duty, but on games that require like big leadership roles, you know what'll happen if you are you play League of Legends, Eve Online, Rust, any of these games? No, no big team. When no. when you when you play these games yeah. and there's team oriented things going on, and nobody really knows what to do, nobody wants to speak up and be the leader because. When everybody thinks of being a leader, they think of the fun things of like, you get to make decisions, you get all the rewards, it's awesome. Nobody wants to be the guy that makes the wrong call. That's a really big yeah, responsibility. The pressure. There's a lot. Uh, right. Uh, but that's that's what it takes to be, uh, you know, a, a strong leader of men, right? Is I will make the decision. I will take the responsibility. And if we die, you can blame me. If we lose, you can blame me. That's, that, that is, that, that's true. And there are people that don't want to take that responsibility because they're, they're psychologically not leaders by nature. That, that's, that is true. That's absolutely true. Nobody pressure. wants to make the mistake, but everybody exactly. wants to make the right decision. Yeah, they want the glory, right, but they right, can't right. the responsibility and the consequence of messing up, kind of like Donald Trump. But, the, but what I'm saying is that everybody when you look that, at... Though. Yeah, but they want it, but they won't do it. So if you, exactly. go, if you go and play... Exactly. No, no. If you go and play a game like Rust, or if you go and play a game like League, like some of the best skills that you can develop are leadership skills. True. Because most of those casual games are without leaders. People don't want to step up and be the guy making those calls. They just want to sit in the corner and criticize yeah, everything. Right, 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 right. Sure, but I mean like that... Like, because it's an easier route, because they don't have to Right. People, exactly. People generally don't want to take accountability, sure. but I'm saying fuck that mentality. Indeed. Take I an L. But well, take, well, I'm taking mad fucking L's on my YouTube channel, bro. But I think that we need people like that. <laughs> you can't have a society full of people where everybody wants to be a chief and nobody wants to be an Indian, right? Okay, but why do a bunch of bots walk around with fucking Dallas Cowboys jerseys on? With because like they like players? to watch sports. Right, and who, whose jersey, whose name do they have on the back of the shirt? The quarterback. The people they look up to. The quarterback. The yeah, leader. so they don't want to be that. What's the number one dream job? Everybody, you ask a six-year-old. Right now, it's fucking YouTubing. Yeah. <laughs> number one coveted job in America is YouTube. But not everybody can be that. But everybody wants that. We're not going to have any viewers if every motherfucker's posting YouTube videos right. all day. <laughs> but you're saying, okay, so. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Uh, most people want to be that but most people don't have the power to be that because they don't have the staying power. They don't have the ability to do the work for the amount of time that is required in order to get the result. Most people want the title of X without putting in the effort, accountability, responsibility, and um, effort required for that. So, absolutely true. So, it doesn't really matter what they want. It's what they're willing to work for. If if you're not willing to work hard to get what you want, then you don't deserve the thing that you want. So maybe the disagreement is like some people need to fall in line. There's going to be bots and there's going to be leaders. 
but we all started off wanting to be a leader. And then people make excuses for why they're not that. And I'm saying like, stop like, you're crazy. You're a loser. I think there's Literally. something that I think happens that's unfortunate and kind of cool at the same time. People that make it into this world, I think you don't realize sometimes how exceptional your mind is. It's very far from the norm. True. Um, and I used to have like the same thing. So something I would Absolutely. say growing up when we talk about like harassment online, what I would always say is that like, I love harassment. It makes me stronger. Well, I like making good you. Yeah, it makes I me, agree. yeah, because when, when people talk shit about me, self -awareness. I want to I want to do better than that, right? Exactly. That's bullying, like the, I like bring back bullying. Exactly. You believe in this no. reptile shit, that's no, 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 no. You go me reptile in two years. But here's the difference, right? Yeah, yeah. I thrive in those environments, yeah. but for a lot of people, destroys them. <laughs> <laughs> Sneeko crying. Oh, that's funny. Uh, no, I, I guys, I love when you comment, especially when you criticize me. I, I just find it funny. Like, because 99% of the criticism I've received is, you're an idiot. You're a, you hate women. You're a loser. You can't get laid. You can't, like, it's literally like attacks that, like, for me are just hilarious. Considering I, I know my own history, right? So, <laughs> you, you can't, like, you can't take away... Uh, all of my accomplishments, all of the things that I'm able to do, and you, you can't take away, like, and I, I pray, I pray that I never lose the mind that I have, and it's, again, it's one of the reasons why I work so hard, because I'm worried um, that uh, you can lose your mind at any time, you know, you, you're working super hard, one day, car accident, bam, it's all over, you know, or a brain aneurysm, bam, it's done, heart attack, or whatever, it was struck by lightning, any, like, there's a million different things that could happen to end this whole fun thing, you know, you're on, so don't waste the time, don't complain, work hard, like, it, it, it could end at any time, so, but I, I think Destiny's right, Sneeko's mind is exceptional, and so is the mind of people that want to be great, it, it, the average person like you you know I was I had this uh, this uh, this um thing that I was thinking about a, f a few months ago actually and cool cool that um I have the opportunity to talk about it here. I was thinking, why do the soldiers ever fight for the general? The soldiers know they're gonna die. The general is actually less likely to die. Why don't they just? Why don't they say screw you to the general and just uh do what they want? And the reason is because most people are not leaders like the general is a leader. They're the they're followers. They want to be told what to do. They want to win the battle, but they don't know how to do it. But they're willing to throw an arm in there. They're willing to throw a sword in there. They, they know how to ride a horse. You see what I'm saying? That's the point. Not everybody is capable of being a general, of being a strategist, of being a winner like that. Most people are not exceptional like that. You can cry about it, but no, like, they cry about it. They right. can cry about it, but that's most people's like human physiology. That's their mind. You can't just like tell people to be different. Maybe they when can. they're one. Maybe not if you have a kid, different, you but improve. It's not. A you, no, no, no. You totally can. Actually, uh, uh, Destiny is wrong about this. Um, uh, studying psychology, uh, if if you have, you know this. And actually, I don't know if you know this, but here we go. Uh, another good opportunity to say this: changing the way you think changes your brain physically. So changing your outlook on life physically changes your brain, which then has downstream effects of changing your body as well. So no, changing how you think is possible, although it's very hard, and it actually does change you. It, it, actually, it actually works and is actually effective. It's not a matter of improving just the way that people see the world. But think about it. If they you see want, the world If you want to talk about biology, yeah. you want to talk about biology, right? Society doesn't work if it's full of people like you or people like me, right? True. You need people that are willing to work in a community that feel a lot of pressure to like please other people. Because think about True. it, if you got a group, let's say, let, so I'll take me for instance. Let's say I have a tribe of like 50 people that are like me, okay? And, and one They're day I'm like, to I don't want to work today because fuck you guys. I'm going to go paint or climb a tree, right? I'll do that and everybody will be like, fuck you, you're a piece of shit, we're going to hate you. We and I'll be like, and, and I'll say, and I'll say, I'll say, I don't care, I'm going to climb a tree, hate me, fuck you, right? I'll flip you off. But if you have other societies filled with people that are more compliant, you know, that social pressure, the, the way that their emotions are reflected from other people, that, that society functions a lot better because everybody's doing what they need right. to do to like carry through. So, so, we, so you can't go to a society and say, all of you guys need to be like me. Not need to be, people, but I'm saying everybody can. I don't know if they can, and I don't even know if they should be. I don't even know if you'd want them to be. Okay, but this this should and want and etc. It's actually it is it is an interesting thing to think about, right? Should more men want to be leaders? I, I actually had this thought ex as well um, that Destiny's saying. I, I I did I did think about this. If I on my YouTube channel or whatever, if if I convince a, like people to become like me. I actually increase my competition. 
I make the world harder for myself by making other men better, right? But I also thought about this. If I make men better, I make society better, even though I make it harder for myself, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I'm willing to hurt myself for the betterment of society, even though it makes things harder for me. Um, because if men as a whole uh, raise the standard, then the standard of the whole society goes up. If the standard of the whole society goes up, yes, it becomes harder for me as an individual, but everyone is benefited. That's what I'm thinking. So that's why I have such a YouTube channel, right? Is because I want men to know the truth so they can make informed decisions so that they can, you know, have a better life so that they can then contribute to society better so that they can then raise the standard of society. That's what I'm thinking, right? And I, I, I pray that I have some effect um, even if I have a minuscule one, it'll be better than the garbage, womanist, brainwash, trash that permeates society in 2022. Um, so I think actually Destiny's um, idea here, I, I, again, I think it's a little bit too defeatist. I, I think, uh, yeah, I don't think it's realist. I think it's actually defeatist. Uh, like, true, there are people that um, are going to always want to be sheep. Um, absolutely. But that doesn't mean that they can't be strong warrior sheep as opposed to, you know, um, loser, uh, fat slob sheep that we currently have that, that are, you know, emotional and in their feelings, right? Like, why can't we have, like, strong, stoic, um, fit sheep? And, I mean, that was a thing. That was a real thing. That, that's what happened in Sparta. Right. So it's not something that's never existed. Um, it's just it, it's just a different time. Right. And it, we live in a different age. Right. They do. They do. Because every, the number one company job is YouTuber. Everybody who has a six year old, what they want to be astronaut, soccer player. I want to be Michael Listen, Jordan. That's who everybody looks up to. Kanye okay, West. This is right. you either know this or you haven't met people yet. OK, but everybody you wants to met be, people. Hold, we'll on, find man. out. We're about to find out. Robin, we're about to find out because you either know this is true or not. Okay. Everybody wants to be a big YouTuber until they have their first negative comment section. Yeah. And that. No. Uh, okay. Well, for me, it's it's fine, right? But, but for yeah, for most people, maybe they don't have the psychological ability to handle having a, a bad comment section. That first negative experience destroys right. like 20% of And then of it's a choice. Users. And then it's a mental battle. Yeah, sure. I'm saying, but I'm saying, it is a even battle. the people that make it that far, they will get their first native comment section. And I've seen tons of people just quit right there. They're like, I can't handle it. That's why I'm like doing this aggressive, trying to encourage people, Sid. So when you get that first negative comment, what are you gonna do, cry about it? And then write an essay about why it's problematic and toxic? Or are you going to improve past it? Or some you... people just can't. Right. Uh, I, no, I actually find it funny. Like, again, please give me a million comments. I don't care if they're all negative. Like, guys, I know how comments work for the YouTube algorithm. If, if you give me 500 negative comments on every video, I'll be so happy, guys. Like, you don't even know. Like, because I will know that my work, all this effort that I put in to make these videos, I've literally, as of today, I think it's like 418 videos every single day for that many days, right? Like, again... I've put in all this effort and and that is return on my investment. Like I know that it's affected you emotionally to the point where you're commenting. So it makes me happy. Even though you think that you're hurting me or attacking me, I actually see it as a compliment. I affected you emotionally to the point where you were where you were motivated to actually comment and give me something back, even if it's negative, I'm so happy. Like it's, it means I'm getting engagement. It means that I'm doing what I need to be doing. It means I need to continue. So thank you. Okay, anyway, let's let's continue. Can't handle it. Yeah, they can. I don't think- If you can't handle it, you're just a bitch. Like, okay, It's be not a bitch. matter of being a bitch, you're a normal human being. That's what normal humans do. They yeah, look at other people. YouTube comment. They are, they are reflexive to what other people say about them. Yeah, so was I. It hurt my feelings when I first got my- Sure, and eventually- what did I do? I didn't quit. Yeah, I'm but like, I'm gonna get better. Maybe you're a little sociopathic. <laughs> Maybe a little weird. See, that's what's great. You call it crazy mm -hmm. that I want to improve. Pa you you agree with me. You're saying that you like agree bullying. But for me, so are you for crazy? Me, yeah, a little bit, yeah. I think anybody that works in this world is a little fucking crazy. Why are you Probably. not calling the bots crazy for giving up? It's because I think there's an unrealistic expectation you place on people to be able to deal with like the level of harassment and insane fucking shit. So you're a bot groomer. Come here, bots. It's not uh, bots. It's, you, it's have okay. to, you have to meet people where they are. Bots. And, and you've got to understand, you can call them bots if you want. But is that not a correct word? <laughs> they are like the people that make society work. Society doesn't work if it's full of people okay, like work us. Destiny just agreed that, that most people are sheep. But I mean, again, any person who's smart enough to make a lot of money off of YouTube 
And and it's funny that Destiny also pointed out that he thinks that Sneeko has some dark triad traits. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know at least certainly the aspect that's low in agreeableness. I don't really care if you insult me. You can attack me. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway. Herbies. Sure, you can call right. them what you want, but work could be at the end of the day, the hive doesn't thrive unless they're working. I guess my problem, work, right? You can't otherwise everything falls apart. You're right. True. I guess my problem is that people like become worker bees, they become bots, and instead of just accepting their place in society, they'll just like try to find something wrong with you over and over again. He's insane. He's crazy. He's just an yeah, insane. Yeah, but like look He's at this. The... Like, they try to pickpocket you, they try to Right. Uh uh Sneeko is mad that um people do ad hominem attacks. Well, again, they're trying to defend their own worldview, right? Because they're dependent on the Matrix, right? For for everything. So because they're dependent on the Matrix for everything, it follows logically that they would defend it, right? And they defend it by attacking you. So it goes. Bring you down. So like the internet right. has given a voice for a lot of people who should have a voice. You should That's called crabs in a bucket the fuck up sure but you have like a non-profile picture with zero followers and you type an essay and it's like you should just fall in line but why but look and and uh here here it is like you try to, to to climb to the top of the bucket as the crab and the other crabs are trying to pull you down that's how it goes until you finally get out of the bucket right like that's that's the idea that is literally the way the world works and that is the hero's journey as well i, I hope you don't end up back at the bucket in, in the end but we all kind of do right because we because we end up dying anyway uh i didn't want to depress you let's let's continue Look at, but look you at why they do me. it. You look at me. why they do it. It's because people like you are saying that like you're not just like a normal, working, healthy person. You're a bot. You're a piece of shit. You're weak. Yeah. And even is that wrong? Even yes, because even Kevin Samuels, I thought some of the best advice that he was giving okay. was when he's talking to women. You you've seen his shows and shit, right? Yeah. You go, get a 36 year old woman calls in, blah blah blah, right? Yeah. One of the things that he'll say is that listen, you know, you're not. You know, you're not a size zero. You're not a fucking 22 year old like hot chick. You need to love and respect your man that Fall earns forty thousand a year. Yeah, you need Fall to understand what can you get in life, and you need to go up to, and you need to respect that. He wouldn't tell women that are thirty calling your show like, oh, like yeah, your man is shit, but you're shit too. He'd say, no, you got to support and love your man. Like recognize where you are in life, and you go for that type of guy in life, and then. You yeah. Uh. Again, I I fail to see how what Destiny is saying and what Sneeko is saying are mutually like like they that they can't coexist. They can coexist. I I don't understand. Like what Destiny is actually arguing here. All right. Anyway, we're going to end the video there. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, liking the content, please hit the sub, hit all for notifications. If you'd like to support me, I do have a Patreon with exclusive content. It's patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Just go there and then subscribe to any tier. Any level of support is appreciated. Thank you so much, uh, especially if you took the time out of your busy day to listen to the end of the video. I do appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. And I will see you next time.